so much glue. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm gonna to be opening up our Magic Trackpad 2 because the battery is swelled up and it was kind of encasing itself. All right, so this is the Apple Magic Trackpad, but we have a problem here. I think the battery inside has started to expand, which makes it a fire hazard. So in this episode, we're gonna be trying to remove it out and seeing if we can still use it wired because I never use it wireless anyway. So hopefully we'll get this sorted. So what I did was I used a little prying tool to get rid of the base. I'm just working away on the sides to see if I can remove the glue. I'm just... seems to have gone flat now so the bulge is gone it does smell so maybe something's escaped let's find out looks to be a big swath of glue in the middle so that's the area I really need to tackle just by lifting it up giving it a bit of pressure just getting in there with my thumb look at all that glue in the middle Boom, it's out. All right, so this is the battery here. I think it had expanded, but maybe when I was gemming it through here, it looks like I must have burst it and the gases must have escaped. Lots and lots of glue everywhere, all over on the back, as you can see in the video. Next up, remove the battery. But as I was um, using the prying tool, some gases got released and the battery kind of flattened down. It was no longer swollen and I can actually fit it all back in. Everything worked as normal and yeah, I could, could use it at that point. But I read up and lithium ion batteries, when you remove the casing or damage the casing, it is not safe. It's doubly not safe. They're not safe in general, these batteries. I don't know why a lot of people use them. But anyway, that's that. It's not safe. So just also, this is also like a, an announcement. Be careful buying used lithium ion battery goods off eBay, I could have easily just plugged the battery back in and sold it. And someone would have had that fire hazard in their house. Obviously I never did that, I tried to actually repair it. See if I can jimmy this battery off. I don't know why they have these explosive batteries inside these devices. Don't know why they can't just use AA or even rechargeable ones. It is what it is. So much glue. Yeah, there you go. So we've got the battery out here. If I do this, the battery is connected. Turn it on. It does make a clicking sound when it's off. So it's functional at this very stage. Right now the battery is working though. So, cause when I turn it on, you can hear it click. Now with the battery removed, as you can see, you can still use the trackpad, having some fun over there. But the only thing that's missing is the motor. So when you tap, you don't get that haptic feedback. Don't know why they've designed it that way, but these coils, they don't work when the connection isn't on. So there's a connection that runs here plugs into the back and it feeds into the battery situation over there. Now, I I got some scissors and I just cut it at this point here and that didn't actually fix it. So when I plug it on like there, I figured it might make a connection and get it all working. But unfortunately, yeah, it still doesn't make that clicking sound. So I guess what you had to do was remove this PCB as well, or more further down. There you go, getting close. So, will this just slide off? All right, there's a bit of sparks there, so I probably don't wanna be messing with this too much. Definitely some sparks. I wonder if I just cut it from here. 
see whether that doesn't just leave this all alone. Yeah, I'll just see if I can salvage this part because I don't want to mess around with this. This looks like a fire hazard. I stopped at this stage because as I was trying to pry this open, I noticed some sparks coming out of the, the battery. Now, maybe I could have taken it outside and just had my way with it and seen what happened, but I figured it's not probably worth it. And also a lesson learned for you guys, if you do want to try repairing it yourself, cutting it at this point here doesn't actually sit, solve the situation. I guess you need to cut a bit further out. So just be a bit more delicate when trying to remove it. But the good thing about it is, like I said, the bat, the trackpad does still work just without that feature of the haptic feedback. I don't really care about the haptic feedback in a battery, as long as it means that it won't set on fire when I just have it plugged in. That's just awful, awful that does that. Maybe in the future, Apple will move away from these lithium ion batteries or make it easier to disconnect them without it being a fire hazard. That'd be good, but let me know what you guys are out there. Are you guys using a magic trackpad? Are you enjoying yourselves? Let me know if you had these experiences, if you managed to repair it yourself. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. What? The trackpad show? It's actually lighter now. Probably better. Kind of like it without the battery. At any moment, it could have set on fire. It's mental. So much glue.